Hello guys, welcome back to another installment of Professor Charles' Live Um Oh yeah. And today we're gonna talk about something and uh you know I hadn't really talked about it, but maybe I should talk about it. You know, literally I said to myself, like I have not talked to you guys about it. Why? Why have I hid this from you? <laughs> Story time is back. And today we're gonna talk about the time um this took place in college. Um Hey, I was a blur, y'all. I, I really did. Um, this story time takes place back when I was at college. I can't remember exactly what semester it was, but let me just say this. It was a semester, and, you know, I think, you know, I still have that, you know, people have that stigma of black nerds, right? So I am a blurred. Uh, literally, the time I kind of, like, um said screw it all together that I'm a blurred or black nerd so what happened was um i was literally had just got out of a class um i was at the student lounge at the college that i attended um so you know i put my stuff down sit down greet all the people that i knew and still greet all the people that i were friends with on campus um you know because like i said i was sitting down you know, get my stuff out and everything. And I remember there was this one particular person I, I really did like or um have a crush on and uh, just didn't work out that day, y'all. Uh, just didn't work out. Um, so what happened was I, I literally um had seen a person and everything and um you know, so, you know, person, she comes over to the table. Hey, how's it going? Da, da, da. Here come my homeboy out of nowhere. And I'm just like, oh, no. Why? Why? <laughs> He's like, yo, man, you seen the latest anime and, and, and Yu-Gi-Oh! Da, 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 and, and Bleach? And I'm like, bro, like. You know, and maybe it's because this was an awkward phase for me at the time. I'm like, I know at the time, sometimes people shun you for what you like. And I'm just like, oh, okay. I'm like, and, and like, literally, I'm like, yo, yeah, da, 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 da. yeah, I, I saw it. Da, da, da. Like, what happened? So then I, I could not. Like when I seen that person's face, yo, and she was like, "Oh, so you you like anime and all this stuff?" Like it was just like, uh, like, uh, you know, like her facial expression just turned from like, "Hey," to like, "Uh, you into that type of stuff?" And I'm just like, "Um, yeah," like you know what I'm saying. So like, you know. There was like a little tension at the table. It wasn't like, you know, I'm beefed out with her or anything like that. But it was just like, oh, so you, you watch that cartoons and anime, you know, kitty stuff. And I'm just like, oh, man, I'm like, bruh, I'm like, you know, and, you know, she after that, she kind of just walked away from the table. And, you know, I was like, bruh, like you kind of like came at the wrong time i'm like you know what i'm saying i'm not trying to make him feel like the villain or anything to the story uh but i'm like dang bro like you see how her demeanor changed and he was like man you know and, and i remember him telling me he said bro if she didn't really like you for who you are why are you kind of pressed about this and i'm like and you know i thought about it i sat there at the table when he had mentioned it to me and i'm like Dang, bro, you know what? You you got a point, man, you know. And I and I know sometimes, man, you know, you want people to like you for you. But sometimes we see like this, we have like this false illusion like, "Oh, they'll eventually like me for who I am and all this stuff." And I was like, "Dang, bro, like, you know, I was like, "You know what, man? I'm not going to even sweat it no more, man." You know what I'm saying? I told him like 
Like when he told me that I had to really like think about it. I'm like, you know, I should go over there to the table, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, tell her, it was, I mean, I did tell her, you know what I'm saying? But it just, it was like a, a discomfort coming from that person. And I just didn't want to like, you know, make it into like become drama because, you know, when you're at college, you know, they got security at college. And I'm like, look, I'm not trying to start no, you know, drama and security coming there and all that stuff. And I'm glad that my man said, told me about it. Like when he came up, you know what I'm saying? Even though I, I, I was kind of hoping that he hadn't mentioned it, it made me like say, you know what? If people are not going to like you because you like this type of stuff, there's no need to impress them. You know what I'm saying? Why impress people and try to get people to like what you like if they don't really want to get to know why you're into these type of things? Um, And I had to understand that. I said, you know what? I, I didn't let it bother me. Um, I was unfazed. I mean, eventually I found like people that, you know what I'm saying? other chicks that were into that type of stuff. Um, and it was cool. You know what I'm saying? It just, I had to, to accept that's a part of me. And, you know, and if a person can't truly accept who you are as a person, should you even want to involve yourself around that person is the thing, because a lot of us have this well, I, I I like this about that person, but I don't like that about that person. Oh, I like this about that person, but I don't like that about that person. And I know sometimes we, we are, sometimes we can be very picky for what we don't like in a person versus what we really do like in a person. And that that's a very um a rough a, around the edges type of thing. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes we don't even give people interest to try sometimes you know what i'm saying like we'll we'll say oh well i'm a you know we'll find one negative two negative things three negative things about it but yet we won't try it at all we won't even give it a try and and i think that's something i also took from it you know we we're we're at first to shun what a person likes sometimes but yet we will not give it a try we will not even watch it or or at least you know, you know, try to learn more about it or learn why that person's into that type of stuff. But yet we want to shun a person. We want to make them look bad. And I, I said from that day forward, I'm, I'm going to tell people I'm into that type of stuff. You know what I'm saying? If they don't like it, it doesn't bother me. If they do, great. But this is my video for today. Has someone ever disliked you for something? That is over the craziest thing because I, I was a black blur. You tell me, guys, in the comments. Until next time, guys, your boy, Professor Charles S. Live. Thanks for watching. Thanks for rocking with me. Until next time, guys, I'm out. Peace.